Illustrator has a ton of templates already set up for you that happen to have multiple artboards built right in. You just come to File, New from Template. Under blank templates, you can see they have banners, boxes, brochures, business cards, and other things that don't begin with B. And you can choose one of these. Here, I'll go ahead and choose business card, and you'll see that it has multiple artboards built into the file. I'll zoom in with Commander Control Plus and use my hand tool H on the keyboard to pan over. This one is a four panel booklet. This one you might have seen before, a business card that opens up. And then these two are just your horizontal and vertical layouts. Of these, the most common one, obviously, is just the horizontal front and back business card. But what if you wanted to design a company's entire identity package? Let's say they wanted a letterhead, a business card, and an envelope. You could get that from the templates just as easily. If you come to New from Template, this one's called Stationery. When you open that up, if you click on the Artboards tool, they have named their artboards here, Letterhead, Envelope, and these other things, Invitation. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can delete out the artboards that you don't want from a template, and how you can create your own custom artboards in your file. Hello, creative. It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand. But first, how would you like a free cheat sheet? I thought so. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to get your free Illustrator cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. So you'll notice that when you open a template, that's built in Illustrator and select the template by choosing it and clicking on new, you'll see it opens it as a file that now can be edited. It names the file something generic because it hasn't saved it yet. So you're opening a template, but then you have to save it out as its own file. The templates are in that .AIT file format and they are not to be changed or edited the templates themselves that are built into Illustrator. So here I opened up the banner AIT or template file and it has, when I click on the artboards tool, you can see that it gives you the name of each artboard in the file. It names it one, two, three, but then here they could have given this a name such as skyscraper banner, but they're giving it to you in dimensions. This other file that I opened up of stationery, they're giving you the names here but you can see that it's always naming the artboard. You can see the name of the one that you have selected right up here in the name field. So it says letterhead, envelope, invitation. But when you're clicking on each with your artboard tool, you can see the name of it there. And then this way, when you create your own artboards, you can choose to name it. Half the time I don't bother naming my artboards. I just go with front and back if it's a postcard or business card or whatever panel, inside panel, outside panel, if it's a brochure. You might be asking yourself, why do you even want to have artboards? And another question I get all the time is, do you need to have multiple artboards in your file? Definitely not. You can absolutely get by with just one artboard in your file and one layer for that matter. But if you do want to have a panel that shows you all of your artboards, you can come to Window Artboards. And here, with all of these artboards, you have the ability to isolate each and choose Delete here. You'll notice that I don't have this Artboards panel docked in my setup. And to see how I like to set up my Illustrator workspace, click the video right up here. If you want to use it, you can certainly select it and dock it. But the reason why I don't bother is because I usually only have two and it's easy enough to delete the one that you don't want. I'll come back over here to my stationary template and I'll go ahead and give this file a save. I'll save this as ID set, uh, an identity package if you will. So I'll hit save. I'm going to keep it as the latest and greatest version of Illustrator with these settings clicking OK. With my artboard tool one more time, 
I can see that I wanted the letterhead, maybe I want the envelope, but I don't want these other two. The reason why I don't bother showing my window artboards panel is because yes, I could click on complement slip here and choose delete from the panel and it would delete it. Or I could just simply click on it and then hit the delete button on my keyboard. I don't want the invitation either. And voila, I'm left with just envelope and letterhead. Next, if I wanted to come over here to my business card template that I opened up. So with the artboard tool selected, and you get that move or selection tool, you're able to move that artboard in your overall document. You can see the dimensions are listed right up here. What's interesting to note is for some reason, mine defaulted to a point, not inch, uh, units of measure. So let me know in the comments if yours does the same thing, because basically these are projects that are meant to be printed. So it's strange to me that Adobe defaults it to point. And you might already know that a business card is three and a half by two inches. But if you didn't know that, and you opened up your template file, you'd be able to glean what those dims were when you come here to File, Document Setup. You can change the units of measurement right here from points to inches. Now, when you click OK, you can see that the dimensions are three and a half inches wide by two inches high. So now you know what you can do. In your ID set, go ahead and give it a save with Command or Control S so you no longer see the asterisk at the end of the file name. You can add an artboard to your existing file with the dimensions that you know you need. So to add a custom artboard to your file, you choose your artboard tool, and you click down anywhere and drag out. You can see here that the default units of measurement for this file that I've named ID set are still points. So one more time, I'm gonna to come to my file document setup and change that because I'm in the US to inches. Now, I can see that the box that I drew happened not to be the dimensions that I needed. So I'll just type in three and a half inches by two. When I choose my move tool or selection tool to click off, you can see letterhead, envelope, and there's the business card. Zooming in with command or control plus and using my hand tool to pan over with my artboard tool selected, you can see that I've added a third artboard. By default, it will number your artboards and give it a generic name. Right up here in the name field. If you wanted to select that and in that field write business card, when you're looking at your artboards one more time, you'll see that the letterhead, envelope, and now business card is labeled accordingly. So you know what you're looking at. Once you've created an artboard and you want to maybe copy that, maybe in this case I wanted to have a front and a back of a card, all I would need to do is choose my artboard tool one more time and with my move or selection tool then I could hit alt to make a copy of it. To keep it on the same vertical or horizontal plane, I could add in my shift key. Now I have business card and by default, it will call it business card copy. And I could say business card back. And I could come back to this one and say business card front. Now, with my artboard tool selected, I could see that I have letterhead, envelope, and business card front and back. So not only is it easy to keep everything in one file, so one of the advantages of having all of your artboards in one file is so that you can share like elements across all artboards. In fact, if I go ahead and delete these, if I had an object, I'll go ahead and make it a little bit smaller. If I had an object and I wanted to paste it on all artboards in mass, I could select that artboard and hit Command or Control C to copy, or Edit, Copy. I could come to Edit, and instead of Paste, I could choose Paste on all artboards. And voila, like elements can be placed on all artboards. And what you're noticing here 
is it actually places them in the same exact place across different artboards too. So it's pretty cool. There are a lot of advantages of keeping multiple artboards within the same file. Come back to watch my next video where I show you how I created an entire identity package for a company using this exact ID set file. So I'll go ahead and command or control Z to undo that and I'll give it a save, command or control S. And now I'm all set up with my ID set template to now begin designing. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. Share it with your friends Woo! and please subscribe to my channel. Yay! And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with P, H, and S, girl, with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.